Book Two, the Book of the Traveler of the Worlds, Canto Eleven, Kingdoms and Godheads of the Greater Mind, Page Two Sixty Two, Fifth Line. Amid the heavy sameness of the days, and contradicted by the human law, a faith in things that are not and must be lives, comrade of this world's delight and pain. The child of the secret. Soul's forbidden desire, born of its armor with eternity. Our spirits break free from their environment. The future brings its face of miracle near. Its Godhead looks. At us with present eyes, acts deemed impossible grow natural. We feel the hero's immortality, the courage and the strength death cannot touch. Awake in limbs. That are mortal hearts that fail. We move by the rapid impulse of a will that scorns the tardy trudge of mortal time. These promptings come. Not from an alien sphere, ourselves are citizens of that mother state. Adventurers, we have colonized matters night, but now our rights are bare, our passports void. We live. Self-exiled from our heavenlier home, an errant ray from the immortal mind, accepted the earth's blindness and became our human thought, servant of ignorance, an exile laborer. On this unsure globe, captured and driven in life's nascent grasp, hampered by obscure cell and precarious nerve, it dreams of happier states and nobler powers. The natural privilege. Of unfallen gods, recalling still its old lost sovereignty, amidst earth's mist and fog and mud and stone, it still remembers its exalted spear and the high city. Of its splendid birth.